true that we are off track on the achievement of both SDGs and also climate action. And we came to the conclusion at our Africa Climate Summit that it is no longer possible to discuss development, uh, SDGs, and climate separately, that these are one and the same. And if there is something we learned from the COVID is that there is nobody who is safe. We can all be in trouble. We've had too much focus on the problem rather than on what possibilities there exist for us to craft innovative, creative ways of getting to the solution. We have challenges, correct, of resources, both for SDGs and for climate. But many countries, many uh, low-income countries, are constrained by debt. Mm. And because of debt distress, and we talk about debt distress, 10 countries are already over the cliff in debt distress. About another 52 are highly at risk of debt distress. We are making the proposal that if we, ask, if we have at all to have the chance to um, be on track on both climate and SDGs, we need to support these countries, extend their tenure of severing debt, and give them a grace period. That's how they are going to have the possible chance to leverage resources for them to provide resources for development, for SDGs, and for climate action. Secondly, we need to rethink the whole architecture of, around financing. I think it is defeatist for us to assume that there is nothing we can do about the current financial crisis that is facing our globe. That's why we are proposing that it is possible for us to reform the international financial architecture, the international financial institutions, for them to provide additional concessional financing for us the same way we got together and found money using SDRs for COVID, we can also find money using SDRs for climate so that we can deal with the possibilities of making sure that resources are found. And finally, innovative. There is a lot of innovation around technology. The current financial system was figured out in 1945. Are we saying in the 21st century, we cannot figure out a financial architecture that is sensitive to the current situation where we have vagaries of climate, where we have challenges of development, and where many countries are actually in huge debt. I say differently, we can figure out a different financial architecture that serves the purposes of our moment. And, and it is the reason why working with uh, Bill Gates uh, Foundation in Kenya, we are reconfiguring how do we deliver health? In fact, we're changing from curative to promotive and preventive. And on Monday, next week, we will be launching our community health promoters, where every, uh, uh, in every community, every 100 households will have a community health promoter equipped so that we can promote health from the bottom going up. Well, let me build and on that for a moment. Just Hold that thought. Because